All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a part two for the Start 8 of Windows 8, uh, the program from Stardock. And uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the update for the Start 8, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you what it does. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to go ahead and customize the Start menu. Um, so here we go. Okay, so the email that I got in Start 8, it says, uh, thank you for downloading Start 8. Um, there are new, uh, some new features from the beta. Um, the start menu that can change sizes, um, sizes that are tall, sizes that are uh, wide, and sizes that are large, and the original, which is small. And also, it gives you the option to go ahead and with the Windows key, go to the full screen of the start Metro UI, and with the uh, start orb, just go to the start menu that they have uh, displayed right there. So back on the, to the desktop, here we go. You'll see that I changed the start menu. And also I'm gonna go ahead and provide you guys some start orbs that you guys don't have from start eight. So if I were to go ahead and press this, right away you can see that it is a wide version of the start menu. If you go ahead and right click, let me go ahead and minimize this real quick. If you go ahead and right click on the start menu icon, you'll go ahead and notice a couple more features from the update uh, starting March uh, 20th. Um, one would be the non full screen size, which would be wide, large, tall or small, as you've seen in the previous picture. Uh, another check mark would allow the win key, which is on your keyboard to show the full screen menu instead of both, um, either or, and the other features that you guys are somewhat acquainted with already. So uh, that's basically the updated features that Start 8 has from Stardock. I will go ahead and show you now how to go ahead and customize this right here. Um, let's just go ahead and say, for instance, you have uh, a program that got installed. Other stuff gets installed too, and it's displayed right here in the Start menu. And let's just say I just wanted Pro Show Producer. I can go ahead and right click on this, open file location, and it'll come up. And all I have to do is just delete everything else besides the program. So if I were to delete those two, that'll leave me just with Pro Show Producer. And if I were to come back to it, I should just only have Pro Show Producer. And let's see if I'm right. Uh, let's see. Oh, crap. You know what? I might have deleted it. Oh, there it goes. See? Okay. Just Pro Show Producer by itself. That goes the same thing with any other program. So if I were to go ahead and go here, I were I should go ahead and just delete that. Hold on for a second. Delete those two, come back to the start menu and have it displayed the way I need it to. Very minimal. And there it goes. So basically all you guys have to do is just go to each program, right click on it, open file location and just delete it. Uh, you should know by just the name, like say, uh, xlaunchpad.exe or just xlaunchpad, leave that but delete anything else that you don't want shown up on the start menu. It'll look a lot cleaner, it'll look a lot more minimal, and it'll just look a lot more organized and you can see a lot more programs without looking everywhere and getting disorganized and discombobulated with other stuff like documentation, texts, and whatnot. Alright, so that is the video of part two for Start 8 by Stardock. This is I flipping windows and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe and thumbs up and comment on what you guys would want to go ahead and see on the next update if Stardock has it. Um, this is actually the update I've been looking for. Um, I finally have it. I'm pretty much satisfied unless they can come up with something else. Um, I'm pretty much satisfied again. Yeah. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.